Started 2018 with one summer camp, then it just overlapped into two summer camps and COVID hit. We went year round, did a little bit of um, the online studying with the weight room. Um, and then we just keep on rotate. We rotate kids in and out from ages seven to 17 all year, like about 65 kids a year. It takes about four months to graduate the program. And after they graduate, they come back like he was as a mentor and the other guy downstairs, downstairs as a mentor. And they just kind of feed these guys and keep them in line and help me out around here. I've been doing this four years now and uh, it's just growing and I keep getting kids and I just keep on giving what I know. And I think it's a good way to a rice of passage for them to go ahead and as a man, you don't have to prove that you're tough by picking up a gun, prove that you're tough by belittling somebody else. In the ring tonight, it takes two men to get in there and have courage, test each other's will, and we respect each other. You respect your point out there. We dap each other up, most of the time hug each other. So I think this is a good way to allow boys to turn into men, and young women to turn into, young girls to turn into women without violence. It helped me with my school, helped me with a lot of stuff, a lot of stress, a lot of things that I've been going through personally. Maybe I'll come here, relieve stress and all that, come help the kids and stuff, you know. For me, it just, it's, it feels good. When you go in and put the work in the gym, it just does something for you. You know when you worked hard. You know what I'm saying? These guys know that they worked hard to get in that ring tonight. So it does something for them. So the trophy is just a, another token coin. It's the work, it's the hard work that goes inside of them that really matters. I think we're the biggest thing community-wise in Southeast. And we allow everybody to come in, black, white, candy, stripe. I don't care. As long as you want to fight and you want to work hard and we, you can respect others, you're welcome here. This doesn't pay any bills by any means because we don't get any money coming in. So if we get, we have a, a, a PayPal and stuff like that for um, donations. We just have so many kids, you know what I'm saying? We have a free lunch program here, snack program. They come here to study. It just really kind of feel like this is their living room. And it's their clubhouse. And I kind of like keeping it like that because everybody feels welcome. We all have uniforms. We all have the same thing. It's equality here. And we just try to uplift each other. Try to bring hope to an atmosphere that's really not a lot of hope that's going on around here. So we come in here, we encourage people in all walks of life. So and I think that's something that we really need in Southeast and all over the city, actually. So.